If Black Dahlia were your mate who's obsessed by horror, then meet a Legion, who are your best pal who is absolutely obsessed with science. Their brand new album, Apoptosis, is without a doubt my favourite record of theirs to date. And also the subject of this week's review. So, A Legion have always been an incredibly technically driven band, and Apoptosis is no different to that, but for me, I feel that they've pulled back the reins somewhat and allowed the technical sections to be there, left on their own, but they follow more of a song structure. You know, there's more songwriting, I feel, which is implemented into this album. And on this record, there are moments where the band actually slow down, and they're some of my favourite bits on the album. For example, despite exothermic chemical combustion, i.e. fire, <laughs> going incredibly fast, there's a section where it kind of goes into this half-time groove, and the song is all better for it. Following that, it's Extremophiles A, which follows this more kind of classical, neoclassical route that has always been within a Legion songwriting, but has got these really subtle keys that come in and really gives it that sort of elevated sound. Exothermic is also a fantastic example of just how much a riff can change when you move from one string to a slightly lower string. And it really does kind of create that more malevolent of moods, really. Greg did mention that a couple of the songs on the album are through composed in our interview, but that's, again, you know, a, a point of originality is that there's no kind of, like, you know, verse, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, you know, like, it's very much interesting to listen to the entire album, and the album flows fantastically. I think it's also worth noting that this is also an album where a Legion are really trying to experiment with different styles. For example, there's a serious black metal vibe going on here. And Metaphobia, for me, has to be probably the fastest track on the album, and opens with this very yeah, very black metal inspired, almost like Keep of Kalesin style tremolo pick. This is also where I'm going to talk about Riley McShane's vocals. Now, they are out of this world, honestly. On Metaphobia, I think it's kind of his most varied performance, for sure. But wait until the final track on Apoptosis. Be prepared. There are some Bjorn soilwork level highs there, man. Like, I was just absolutely blown away. It was the best. And Apoptosis itself is a 10 minute scorcher. You know, it's, it kind of ebbs and flows, it's got dynamics, and it really is a smart way of writing a song. And it is a truly epic album closer. And Extremophiles A, for example, has absolutely fantastic songwriting. And although it might have this sort of intergalactic style to it. It's anchored by these melodies, and that is probably the most important element of apoptosis, and what has had me coming back to it again and again and again. Obviously, a Legion have been known for their, you know, dramatic fretwork, but the solos on this record are just fantastic. Like, for example, the Per Nilsson style solo on Metaphobia, and it works so well within the context of the song. And, you know, or for example, Stellar Tiles of Disruption. <laughs> The album also works in a somewhat two-part feel, I think. You know, the first section of the album is very kind of a bit more linear, um, and then on the second section of the album, I feel that's when all of the very, very prog elements come through. And particularly on Tsunami and Submergence, which starts off with about two and a half minutes worth of instrumentals, the track is kind of comprised of very earthy style tones, which is a total contrast from what we've come to know from a Legion, you know, which is very kind of like mechanical, if you will. When those clean vocals appear, the drums also adapt to that as well, and they have more of a jazzy kind of free-flowing style to them. And then it's perfectly put together with Colours of the Currents, which is a very kind of delicate nylon string classical guitar solo piece. Um, and I think, you know, having those two put together and particularly the way that this track listing is created throughout the album, 
is one of the reasons why it is such a streamlined and really, really brilliant record. I mean, think of a Guinness. You wouldn't drink a Guinness straight away. You wait for it for a little bit to settle and then you drink it. And that's the idea that a Legion have gone with. And as much as it may be an incredibly small trick, the bass kind of fade out on Metaphobia creates a really darkened atmosphere and really does slow the song down, preparing you for the next track. And of course, opening up the album following the instrumental introduction, Interphase is absolutely brilliant, but doesn't kind of give too much away, which is what I like about this album. You know, the further you get into it, the more experimental it gets. Perhaps like all of the scientific elements that the band speak of, the periodic table for a legion has aligned and they have created their own brand new element. And I think this is the album that a legion have always been heading towards to making, but needed that experimental nature to really push them out of their comfort zone. Album of the year contender, without a doubt. And for that reason, I'm giving the record a five out of five. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure to check out all my interviews, of which one is with Greg and Riley from Allegiant. And also make sure to check out all my reviews and all sorts of good stuff like that. Anyway, let me know what you think of the singles and the album when it's out. And I will see you guys next week for another album review. Take care, friends.